Okay, here's something fun. I've got my little microamp pulse motor running on a grape. And that's my grape battery right there. That's a California grape with a penny and a screw. And I'm calling this the grape motor. And that's the uh, little microamp pulse motor. This is the original circuit I started with. Now this is really not mine. It's mine as far as modification, but it's a complementary transistor circuit. Uh, Dad have took that type of uh, complementary transistor circuit and got it to run a pulse motor. Now in his original circuit, he had resistors here and here. And I've built a bunch of those things. And then backup CPU, Back in 2013, found out you could just put a resistor here and eliminate those resistors, hardwire it, and it would run. And I flipped the LED around, and then um, I've got to a high ohm coil here, and then I've made modifications to it. And then now I'm running it with an MPS A18 uh, NPN. I went up on the uh, resistor to 10 megs. The coil is now 4,000 ohms and this is my great battery that uh, runs at 4 microamps at about 3 quarters of a volt. A copper penny and then uh, like a zinc coated screw so it's the differential between copper and zinc and an electrolyte and until it breaks down it, it runs but uh, basically a lemon battery which if you've ever made a lemon battery and try to run a motor off of it it's almost impossible unless you have something like this and that's why these little projects are worth doing because you can back up and go back to your grade school days and make these simple little uh, batteries and, and have it run it and I think that's really cool and I had this running off of uh, an LED like Slider did uh, today I used an, an infrared LED instead of the green one that he showed but uh, these little uh, they call them needle motors because it's just a needle suspended from a magnet and then I, I use a jar lid, plastic jar lid with four magnets on it and um, there's been a lot of different people that have worked on this now I'm using this suspended with the pointy part up here and a little pool of oil and the uh, needle runs in a pool of oil and then there's a magnet down here at the bottom that just holds the needle uh, in alignment uh, air core coil. There's no uh, there's no core in the coil. This is uh, Theodore Pauli's coil, and um, th this is a real winner. This coil. Uh, sliders using the dancing flower coils uh, in series to get the uh, high ohm resistance up. But anyway, here again, this is the circuit. Um, it's Dad halves, um, and then. Um, Backup CPU is the one that gave me this idea to use the resistor here and eliminate the resistors here. And it's just very, very simplified. Um, I've got all this gone now. I'm just using a grape. <laughs> and then uh, this one up to uh, the Theodore Poly coil, the 4000 ohm coil. And my great battery. You can use almost any power source you can. It'll give you that microwattage power. Uh, solar cells work, uh, like a, a slider has shown, LEDs out in bright sunlight will work. Uh, you can pick it up through induction. Uh, I'm thinking antenna, uh, RF. If you've got an, a, a strong radio station somewhere near, you can probably rig up an antenna and use um, one of those power module, Joe Tate power modules, and get this thing to run on uh, RF. And the goal was to get something to run on ambient uh, energy in, inside the house, or the energy that's floating around inside a house, be it light or RF or whatever, and just have something like this run all the time. But that just shows you how little it takes to run one of these things. It's my great motor. And today is the 16th of March, 2017. Thanks for watching.